Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you watched my last video, uh, I ran up to the flea market, tried to barter and trade uh, some silver. I didn't bring any gold. Next time I'm probably going to try and bring some gold. But uh, I brought some silver with and it was a complete bust. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it was kind of disappointing. Not really shocking, but kind of disappointing that nobody really even wanted to talk to me about it. Um, and I probably got discouraged too quickly. I should have tried some more vendors. Uh, it was limited. There was limited vendors that I would even consider trading with because the whole idea of that was to trade with uh, people that um, had stuff that you might need in a SHTF scenario. So I will try it again. Next, I'm going to bring some... Uh, gold with but it's going to have to be with gold because it's so expensive i'm going to, have to bring some smaller increments and see what happens but um <clears throat> as you may or may not be aware today gold and silver are taking a shellacking and uh i think i know why um you know i'm going to go over some of my reasons why that's happening right now and it's getting near a key level right now for silver especially and we'll see if it holds but uh We'll just have to wait and see what happens, guys. You know, this is a normal part of the market. Uh, no reason to panic. To me, it looks like a uh, maybe another buying opportunity, in my opinion. But uh, I'm going to pull up my uh, desktop here and go over some uh, articles and some things that are probably going to make you real upset. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, here's the current chart from Kitco.com on uh, gold and silver. Uh, I'm going to reload the page here and see the current updated price. But uh, gold is uh, down $37.30 and silver is down $0.69. Cents. So uh, they're both down pretty steeply. I'm pretty sure I know why. Uh, it's a combination of things. I think uh, the tensions have eased in the Middle East, which is affecting it. And also some uh, hawkish talk from the Fed uh, and maybe reality is starting to kick in that they may not be able to lower rates. Uh, there's still a lot of conflicting news about that and information out there. So who knows exactly what, what, what they're going to do. But um, silver uh, is getting close to what I believe is a key number, and that's $26 an ounce. Now, I'll tell you straight out, and I've said this many times, I am no expert on finance or the economy. Uh, this is just stuff I see, you know, as I have to follow this daily because of my business. But uh, to me, uh, $26 an ounce is a key number. And if it breaks below that, I believe uh, we may be heading to 24 or 25. But do your own research. You know, this is just my opinion. Um, like I said, I think there's some good reasoning for this. And I'm going to go over some articles with you. But I do want to show you something that's probably going to make you mad. Um, I saw this uh, posted on uh, X and actually uh, RFK Jr. reposted it. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to this or not. It looks like it could be just a rumor, but uh, it's, you know, th this made me pretty uh, upset. And it says uh, President Biden is reportedly working on a 10-year deal to send Ukraine one trillion in military aid and 500 billion in reconstruction loan guarantees and would prevent the next two presidents from cutting off aid. So that's a total of what? 1.5 trillion dollars. Um, <laughs> I don't have a favorable opinion about sending them 1.5 trillion dollars when we are already in debt uh, beyond repair at this point. And I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is a rumor. So, you know, don't take this as a fact. I just saw this posted uh, by this guy and I saw it reposted a few times. But if it is true, uh, that's an insane amount of money to be giving to a uh, foreign country. Regardless of what you feel or how you feel about what's going on in this Ukraine war. Um, you know, I have some uh, opinions about that too. Uh, I don't think Putin is a good guy. Uh, I think, you know, there's a couple things 
that he may be doing to try to destabilize the United States. Um, I'm not even sure if he's, uh, you know, he went into Ukraine in order to actually uh, do what he said he wanted to do, which was to stop NATO from encroaching on uh, Russia's borders. Um, I mean, it's quite possible he might have bigger aspirations than that. I have no idea. I don't think he's a good guy. I think the war could have been avoided, but uh, here we are. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about this. Uh, did you guys ever think that maybe, maybe Putin is taking his time over there so that uh, the West keeps getting milked for money and they keep, uh, you know, printing up more money to send over to the Ukrainians to help them? And what it's doing is hurting us. You know, I mean, they believe me, they know uh, our financial situation. It's no mystery and the amount of debt. So there's a chance he's just doing it slowly because I really thought in the beginning when this started that uh, he would steamroll right over the Ukrainians. Uh, even with our help and our assistance, our military uh, equipment and everything else we've been sending them. So who knows? Or they could all just be a part of one big, you know, club and uh, they're just milking everything they can. I have no idea. But uh, to send uh, a $1.5 trillion over 10 years, I mean, we can't afford that. I mean, we really cannot afford that. So I don't know what they're thinking. But um, I wanted to talk about some things I'm seeing in my shop. Um, I have noticed a uh, large decrease uh, recently in the amount of silver uh, purchases we're making and sales we're making. So there's not a lot going on right now in my shop, uh, either side. And um, I'm starting to wonder, and I'm starting to think, I know we had a uh, really wild ride and a lot of, um, popularity in the metals last couple of years because it you know i've sold more silver in the last couple of years than i think i ever have before in this store but um i've noticed it's starting to come down some you know most of the regulars are still buying but even them now i'm starting to see them slow down in what they're purchasing and uh I noticed this article, you know consumer confidence drops 21 month low due to worries about food and gas prices I think people are starting to actually get broke. Um, I think these high prices and everything are starting to uh, worry the consumers. And even uh, silver and gold stackers are probably starting to pull back. Maybe they're you know running out of money uh, that they get to buy or they're worried about what's coming and you know the cost of everything. So they're probably pulling back what they're spending. So I think we're going into a lull here in the precious metals uh, market. And even though the consumer side uh, buying is dropping, I don't think that's going to have anything to do with the market price of silver and gold because we have we really don't affect it, I don't believe at all. But um, And the reason why I think, here's the reason why I think that silver and gold are dropping, and that's because of uh, this article, gold drops as markets see hawkish Fed speak at U.S. rate meeting. So, you know, we're going back to the Fed rate stuff and uh, whether or not they're going to drop the rates. And I've been saying for a while, I, I'm not sure they're going to drop the rates this year. I, I don't see how they can do it. And we've talked about this a lot. But, you know, maybe reality is starting to kick in. And, uh, you know, we're going to see uh, possibly even uh, rates rising. I mean, I think that would collapse the markets. But, you know, who knows at this point. And, uh one other thing I want to talk to you about that I saw, and it looks like uh, Israel is going to attack Rafa. Uh, that's the last remaining, uh, I get believe, stronghold of in Gaza, where whatever's left of Hamas is still at, and uh, that that could help the price of metals rebound if that uh, turns into anything big. Of course, these. Uh, this Israeli and uh, Palestinian war that's going on has sparked all these uh, protests on these college uh, campuses and universities, and they're starting to get a little bit out of control. But, uh, you know, and if they, I believe if Israel goes into Rafah, uh, you know, to try to finish off Hamas, that uh, those protests are going to get worse and maybe violent. So... And I have my theories about that, too, what's going on with these universities. Uh, 
they're obviously uh, funded by somebody because all you got to do is look at these signs that they're holding and they're all professionally printed. I doubt if these college kids are going out and having professionally professional signs made. And, uh, you know, some of these protesters are probably just antagonists that are being paid by somebody to stir up more trouble in this country. So we'll see what happens, guys. But, uh, you know, who knows? So that's all I got for you today, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think is going on. Uh, do you have any opinions on whether or not they're going to uh, raise or lower rates? And, um, you know, let me know what you think about uh, the possibility. I don't know if that's true from that X post uh, about sending $1.5 to Ukraine. And, uh, you know, any of you uh, uh, military guys, military experts out there, please leave some comments about what you think is actually happening in Ukraine. Do you think... Uh, Putin's actually slow rolling it, or do you think, uh, you know, it, it, they're literally just not as strong as we thought they were? And, uh, you know, like I said, don't panic about these silver and gold prices. Uh, just pay attention to it, watch it. If silver drops below 26, uh, it may become another buying opportunity, you know, but, you know, do your own research. And uh, if you would, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, it's helping my channel grow, and I appreciate it. So have a great day. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.